What's going on guys? I just want to take the time to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everybody that supported the channel, the Facebook pages, or the Facebook page and the, the Instagram, all that stuff. We hit 1,000 subscribers. Uh, that was my goal from the get, and we hit it, and I am ecstatic. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for the continued support. Um, uh, I worked pretty hard for you guys to, to keep content coming and, and um, you know, keep things interesting. Uh, we're going to step the channel up a little bit, but I wanted to announce that we are going to do a giveaway uh, for hitting 1,000 subscribers. Um, in order to be entered, you have to like the Facebook page, like the Instagram. I'll post the links for those below, and you have to be subscribed to the channel. Um, and I'll be giving away a uh, t-shirt and sticker for the winner. Basically what will happen. Um, when I make the post, I'll let you guys know when the time and the date is that the giveaway is going to end. Um, and the lucky winner that is subscribed and follows both pages will be selected and notified. And you guys will get yourself a free shirt and a sticker uh, to support the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Let's get to this episode. What's up, guys? Welcome back for another episode on Spooling Up Performance. Uh, if y'all haven't been on this channel before, welcome. Um, you know, hopefully you like the content. If you do, please hit that subscribe button. Um, today we got something a little different going on, uh, out of the norm. I've been sick all week. Uh, you probably hear it in my voice. Uh, I had some filming that I did over the past weekend, uh, or last week, that I was gonna make an episode out of, and I just like felt like death, so I was just like, whatever. Um, but today we got a customer's car here. Uh, it's a 1975 Corvette. Um, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I think it has like 39,000 miles. It has a hard top and a soft top. But the the reason why it's here is because I had to do a couple things. Like uh, I have to put a th per thermostat, new thermostat in there with a the new gasket. The old one was leaking. Um, so I put that in there. Checking the plugs and uh, just kind of giving it a, a once over, make sure it's good to go. Um, and then this is getting a full paint correction and yeah, it'll be a two-step two step paint correction and ceramic coating to uh, make this car come alive again and have the paint pop. Um, so he should be pretty happy with it. We're gonna get started today. I already cleaned it, I already washed the car. Um, and uh, now I'm just getting it prepped and ready to start doing the correction on it and we'll update you guys along the way. Um, this one should turn out pretty good. We got a lot more cars coming uh, to do similar things. I, th I think I have a brand new 2018 uh, ZL11 LE coming, uh, Charger, Scat Pack, um, a few other uh, pretty nice cars too. Uh, yeah, so we'll have some of that on the channel. I uh, hope you guys like it. Tomorrow is Friday. I got some goodies coming for the uh, Freedom Taxi. She's outside right now. Just hanging out. It is like, uh, we're in Tennessee and it is like so humid right now that I can almost freaking feel the water in the air uh, when I'm breathing. But it's helping my sickness a little bit. I'm, it's helping break some stuff up. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so white is pretty hard to show, but um, let's see if I can get you. Some impurities. In the paint, you can see a lot of it there. Very uneven surface. Some heavy marring in some spots. Yeah, yeah it looks like old pinstriping. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring it back, and hopefully. I can get some good before and after shots. 
I haven't busted out my other lights yet, so just trying to show you just kind of a glimpse of what we're dealing with here. So I'm running the Torx uh, Random Orbital, and I'm trying a new pad uh, that a local distributor has. It's a microfiber um, pad. And it looked interesting, and the guys there said that they've used it for uh, like cutting and polishing, which usually microfibers are pretty good with just cutting. Um, so I'm gonna try this out and see uh, how how I like it. It's pretty slim too, so I'm interested to see what it is. But yeah, here it is. Cut and polish finishes. It's a Euro fiber, looks like. So we'll see how it works. I'm gonna try it out. If not, I got my other pads, so worth a shot. I'm gonna do my uh, test run in a test spot here and see uh, what combination I'm gonna use and speeds and all that stuff, so. Oh yeah, ready to go. Hey, you gotta make sure the surface is always clean. You can't be getting the oils from the hands and stuff on the paint while you're correcting. That's when you get some hazing and stuff like that going on. It's just gotta keep it clean, you know what I'm saying? All right, this is the new line I'm trying on this car. It's a PNS. Most of you probably, well, I don't know if anybody's heard of this stuff, but uh, it's a pretty well-known company. Um, they do a lot of R&D on their stuff and works pretty well. This stuff is uh, Eagle Maker Compound. Um, from what I'm told, this stuff can be used as like a one-step. Uh, works pretty good, but I went ahead and bought the uh, deep finish restoration polish as well to supplement it and then uh, their ceramic coating uh, kit as well comes with the, the paint surface prep and everything when you're done polishing and all that stuff to get all the residue off the paint before you coat so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, with the polish probably and see how much that does and then if I need to go deeper then we'll use the compound I have a feeling we're gonna need to So this car was originally yellow, right? And um, basically what happens, this, this, this guy that owns it now didn't own it then. Um, but whoever painted the car, it was either a really long time ago or they did a really bad job. Um, so long term, this guy wants to get this car repainted the right way um, and make it look really good. Um, this paint is, is going to be a really tough job for me because it's, it, there's a lot of imperfections. Um, so the, the outcome is not going to be, it's going to be really good compared to what it is now. Um, but there's a lot of imperfections in this paint, a lot of uh, uh, bubbling and stuff like that going on, like uh, micro bubbling in the paint. Um, so I, you know, I told him from the get go, I said, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to make it look better than it does now and we'll get it protected so that it doesn't, you know, get worse than it is. Um, and we'll bring a little bit back to life here, but I mean, you could see, um, I'll show you an example. If I can get the, see all the bubbling there? That's all in the paint. Um, they're like tiny bubbles. Um, like right there. There's a lot of that stuff going on. So I'm gonna try to cut down into the clear as much as I can to try to help it out. See all that? It looks like, looks like a skin rash. <laughs> but just from like two seconds on the paint, this is where we got to. So that line right here that you can see is the difference just in about a minute. And then it changes, it gets a little darker, and you can see a lot more abrasions versus that. So this line right here, that's what it looks like before, after, before, 
after. So I'm bringing a lot of clarity back. Um, there's just some things that, you know, people think, people think with like, uh, with paint correction and, you know, stuff like that, that you're gonna be able to fix bad paint. Um, which most of the time you can you can fix a lot of things. Don't get me wrong. Like you can make a you can make a car do a complete 180. Um, but holy shit, you guys would think it's freaking nighttime out right now. It is like noon. It is so dark. It's storming. It's like starting to rain. My, my poor car. Uh, anyway, this car is just this. The paint job on it was done the wrong way and it just it, it's showing now um but we're gonna get this thing looking right um you know guys like me that do this um uh, are just very you know particular on how cars should look um but to him this is gonna be a huge improvement and you know i'm doing it i'm doing it you know giving him a fairly good deal on the job and it's gonna save him thousands now just to have it look a lot better than it did versus going out and spending you know five thousand plus on a new paint job so i think this will get him to where he wants it to look um in the next damn that was a big big strike of lightning and thunder out there um but yeah so we're just gonna keep working and uh when i show you like little things here and there you'll see what i'm talking about here you go uh, side that's touched just a little bit versus not touched. Touched, untouched. Touched, untouched. So, pretty excited to see the way it comes out. There's a lot of uh, the like the bubbling you've seen in the paint, uh, like right there. That's actually deep down in the paint, and um, you know that's like some fish scaling and overspray it looks like but i'm bringing a lot of the depth and clarity back so i think you're going to be pretty happy with it um and you know this is a very inexpensive way to make the car look 10 times better rather than spending five thousand dollars if not more repainting the car so i'm pretty excited to see what you think about it but i'm gonna i got about eight to ten hours left so we'll see how it goes quick Quick update. It's looking pretty good. I got the whole front of the car pretty much cut. Um, I'm gonna start the polish now. This thing is a lot of work. It's not not perfect yet, but it's uh, definitely coming along. All right, we're back for day two. All right, so you can see uh, I'm starting to work towards the back half of the car. Uh, the front side has been cut, um, not polished yet, um, but we, we got a good base layer uh, buffed out. Now I'm moving to the door. So this is what the untouched surface looks like. And then this is what the touch surface is like. You can see the difference in my reflection the depth and clarity versus over here. Again, same lighting. You barely see me there. You can see me a lot more clear here. Here. Versus here. So white's really hard to tell on, especially with like different lighting. But <clears throat> this is just uh, one step of cutting compound. And then over here. And then over here, what up? So we're gonna keep going, get to the back of the car, the roof, stuff like that, and then uh, keep going. This car has been testing me, I'll tell you that. Um, just a, a very old car, um, very sloppy paint job. Uh, so I'm just definitely taking my time on this one and trying to get the most out of it I can uh, for the customer. <clears throat> um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll be happy with it, but we're working towards it. I'm still sick, as you can tell. It's been like five days. I like, I'm trying to kick this thing 
like a bad habit. Like I am taking all sorts of medicine to try to get rid of this thing. I don't know what the hell is going around, but it got me. It got me. Um, so the only thing we got left is to run a little bit more polish and then do a final decontamination and hit the ceramic coating. Although, or uh, overall, it came out pretty dang good. So, pretty stoked. I think he'll be pretty happy with it. Shining pretty good. Heck yeah. A lot of depth added. I think that polish will bring out just a little bit more, too. Um, I just had my... Uh, one of my pads for my polisher drying still. I just I had washed it. Um, so it is looking pretty good. Nice and glossy. So I'm gonna finish up some final touches tonight and then it'll get coated tonight with ceramic coating. And then it will cure for about 24 hours. And this baby will be ready to go. I have to say this one probably gave me the most run for my money as far as time goes. And this one took a lot of work. So, all right guys. So, ceramic coating is done. This thing is so glossy. It is ridiculous. This thing looks amazing. I mean, look at it. The paint looks freaking wet. Look at that shit. It did not look like that before the coating. I'll tell you that. Shit is amazing. Look at that. It looks like a fucking new car, man. Super happy with the way it turned out. <clears throat> this new, the new product I was telling you guys about, that PNS product. Super happy with it. Super easy to use. The ceramic has about a 15 to 30 second flash time. And then you gotta be right on it. But man, the gloss is ridiculous. I can't wait to see this thing in the sun tomorrow. But yeah, we'll let it cure overnight until tomorrow, after, late afternoon, when he picks it up. He is gonna be ecstatic. This thing is, wow, man. From what it started with, <laughs> crazy. Look at that. Whew. Yeah, buddy. What do you think, dude? Looks good, man. Hell yeah. There we go, guys. That project's done. That's going to do it for this episode. We'll see you later. Peace.